This is going to be a husbandry video for my Platymeris species Mambo, or my assassin bugs. Um, I apologize for the fact that I'm doing a voiceover on this one. I originally spoke through the other video and realized afterwards that my six-year-old was either being a ninja or a dinosaur in the background. You couldn't hear half of what I was saying. So I'm just going to voice over on this one. I got these guys in September or October and October of last year. Um, the first batch I got in, there were a couple dead ones, so they resent me some more later on with another order. They are communal, so they do live together very well, and so I was able to just drop the new ones in there. Unlike my M. Balfouris that never fight over the food, these guys will get in little, uh, you know, fights over the food. Nothing major, but both of them will attack the same cricket and kind of have a little argument over it. It's kind of amusing. So far, nobody's been hurt. There's been no issues. I keep them dry. If you look at the substrate, it's a mix of sand and peat. And I have some cork bark in there for hides, um, thanks to uh, Sleepy Brown, a YouTuber, who was nice enough to point out that they appreciate the hides being put uh, vertically. So um, after I originally posted about these guys, I went and put a couple in vertical, and they do like that. Um, this container that I have them in now is getting a little bit small. I'm going to rehouse them into something around five gallons, and I'll be putting even more cork bark and stuff in for them to hide behind. But uh, so far, this has worked out very well. They eat really really well they're fantastic hunters and fun to watch unfortunately as you'll see in this video here um this guy's kind of lame in this one he it takes quite a while for him to grab the cricket and part of it's due to the fact these guys are very nocturnal i've noticed that uh, if i drop in crickets at night before bedtime and leave you can hear them go nuts as soon as the lights go out and i've caught them a couple times when i've snuck down but with the light on them they're a little bit more reluctant to grab stuff um, they can take prey down that's about the same size as them i've seen video of them taking down large dubia with no problem these things are very very aggressive and it, you should keep in mind that they are quick and they can bite and the bites are very very painful supposedly so i keep my fingers away from them temps wise i've read that they need to be kept very high heat these guys have been doing fine with uh, temps 75 to 80 in the summer and now that it's winter time it's about 74 to 77 degrees and they're eating well they're molting um, the smaller ones have molted three times in my care the larger ones have molted two times and they're all doing very well um, hopefully they supposedly do breed well in captivity so i'm hoping maybe they'll uh, i'll get some offspring out of these guys as far as water i do have a little water dish in the middle that i fill when i feed them but i've also noticed that if i spray just the sides of the enclosure and let the water trickle down they'll go up and drink off of the plastic which is pretty cool so so far they've been really really cool species one of my favorite things to feed now and i think part of the problem is when you have you know 150 plus tarantulas and a bunch of scorpions it tends to be the things the the weirder bugs that you have that uh, attract everybody in the house so this is one of these ones where i take out the mambos and i put them on the table everybody comes out to watch them feed they actually creep billy out quite a bit which i find funny considering how many spiders we have but they've been really cool to keep and again i'm definitely hoping that i get some you know offspring out of these guys because i definitely like to keep them in my collection and maybe i'll branch out and check out some of the other platymeris species that are there available because these have really become one of the favorite things i have in my collection so really cool animal um, definitely encourage people to check them out and just remember they are pretty quick and the bite from one of these guys from what i've gathered is no walk in the park but very very cool